Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. In this lab, we will configure the system clock, including the time zone, as well as network time protocol, or NTP, on three routers. This lab will only cover the absolute basics of NTP configuration. And in the following lab, we will configure NTP authentication. NTP is used to synchronize time across devices. It's very important to have synchronized time for a variety of reasons. For example, to help identify when a particular problem occurred when looking through logs on a device. In this lab, we will manually configure the time on R1 and then use it as an NTP server for R2 to sync its time to. We will then configure R3 to sync its time to R2, and our network devices will have synchronized time. First, let's set the clock on R1. Enable Show Clock. This command is used to display the time of the device. This is the default time, but where is it getting this time? Here's another useful command. Show Clock Detail. Now we can see the time source which is the hardware calendar. Cisco devices have a hardware calendar built into them. And as you can see, it is being used by default. Let's change that. First, let's set the time zone, which is UTC by default. This is done from global configuration mode. Conf T. Clock, time zone. Now let's check the next option. We have to enter the name of the time zone. I'm in Japan, so I'll set it to JST. Now let's check the next option. Hours offset from UTC. In my case, JST is 9 hours ahead of UTC, so 9. The next option is minutes offset from UTC, which is 0 in my case, so I'll just leave the minutes option out. Do show clock. Now, as you can see, the time has changed and the time zone has changed. Now let's set the time itself. To do this, we have to go back to privileged exec mode. Exit. We can set the time with this command. Clock set. Now one important thing to remember is this. The clock set command sets the time in UTC. The time zone command we set before only affects how the time is displayed. For example, in my case, JST is 9 hours ahead of UTC. So if I want to set the time to 9 p.m. JST, I have to set the time as 12 p.m. as 12 p.m. UTC is 9 p.m. JST. For this video, I'll do that. Set the clock to 9 p.m. JST. I won't set the clock to the current time of my computer since I record the audio and video at separate times. After clock set, we have to enter the time in the format shown here. 12 o'clock is what I have to enter to set it to 9 p.m. JST. The next option is the month and date, and we can enter them in either order. Aug 21 for August 21st, the date I'm recording this video. Next is the year, 2019. And that's it. Show Clock Detail. As you can see, I configured 12 p.m. It's showing 9 p.m. or 21 in the 24-hour format, and the time source is now user configuration. Next, let's configure R1 as an NTP server, which R2 will sync its time to. Conf T, NTP. Now let's check the options. Here's one interesting quirk. To set this router as an NTP server, you don't use the NTP server command, but rather the option above that, NTP master. NTP server will be used on R2 to identify R1 as an NTP server to sync its time to. Okay, so NTP master, and the next option is what's called the stratum level, indicating how authoritative the time on this server is. 
The lower the number, the more authoritative. We are instructed, however, to use the default, which will be 8. To use the default, just enter the command as is, without adding the stratum level at the end. Next, let's configure R2 to sync its time to R1 using NTP. Enable Show Clock. As you can see, R2's time is the default and is set to UTC. First, I'll set the time zone to my local time zone, JST, again. Note that NTP does not sync the time zone. It will sync the time in UTC, and then it's up to you to configure which time zone that time is displayed in on your device. Conf T, clock, time zone, JST, 9. Okay, now let's configure NTP. NTP server, remember I said I'd use this command on R2 to identify R1 as an NTP server to sync R2's time to. Now we have to set the IP address of the NTP server. Let's use R1's address, 192.168.12.1, exit. Now, normally I'd use show commands immediately to check the configuration. However, NTP can take a very long time to synchronize. For example, show clock detail. This still shows the time source as hardware calendar because NTP hasn't finished syncing yet. In fact, I'm going to cut this video here and wait for NTP to sync. Welcome back. R2 has now synced its clock to R1. Show clock detail. As you can see, the time source is now NTP. Show NTP associations. 192.168.12.1 is the address of R1, which we set as our NTP server. The reference clock of 127.127.1.1 is R1's reference clock. If you remember when studying about IP addresses, the 127 range is for loopback addresses. So this is a loopback address on R1. Okay, now let's configure R3 to sync its time to R2. Enable, conf t, I'll set the time zone again first. Clock, time zone, JST, 9. Now I'll configure R3 to sync to R2. NTP server, 192.168.23.2. Exit. Now once again, I'll cut the video here to give NTP time to synchronize. Okay, R3 is now synced to R2. Show NTP associations. Here is the address of R2, and its reference clock is R1's address of 192.168.12.1. We have now successfully synchronized the time across these three devices. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, please consider contributing to my Patreon, patreon.com slash Jeremy's IT Lab. I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.